you don't dread stuff, you're insane. This is a broken world. It's not, it's not functioning the way it's supposed to function. For example, if I get a call and one of my children has been hit by a car and I'm heading to the hospital, if I don't have dread inside of me, there's something wrong with me. So people should not be afraid of dread. There's a way in which dread says something right is going on inside of me. I'm dealing with reality in a way that's balanced and biblical and accurate. Where dread gets dangerous if, is if dread drives me toward denial or avoidance or a temptation to numb my feelings, then dread takes can take a dark turn. You can make it through the coming holiday season with the help of a Divorce Care Surviving the Holidays seminar. Find one near you, along with more holiday survival resources at www.divorcecare.org forward slash holidays.